check out BigBadToyStore.com for this and other great toys. <laughs> well, if there's ever a blackout, we won't be short on batteries. <laughs> brave in. What does that even mean? How do you brave it out? That's what I want to know. Hey, what's up, YouTube land? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Kyoto Uger DX Judenshi sets. So here we are, and there it is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So here it is, you can see a nice big picture of Kyoto Red reaching out. Ah, Judenshi! And you see Judenshi set. Done in a nice gold foil, looking all nice. On this side of the box, you got some teeth going on here. On this side, you got some more teeth and Judenshi Set DX. Over here, you got some more artwork going on with some more floating electrified Judenshis and the symbol and all that good stuff. On the bottom, same thing. On the back, you have a nice picture of all of the Kyoryojers. Right there, you got red, you got gold, you got blue, black, pink, green, cyan, 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 whatever, silver, gray, and violet. All ten of the Curiugers, or Rangers. You can hear the Sentai fans getting angry. He said Rangers, how dare he? Ah, uh, I'm going to be such a troll when it comes to these things, I swear I am. And I don't care anymore. But, <laughs> but here you have it. And the cool thing here is that it does open up like a book with some Velcro. You open it up, and you get all of your Judenchis 1 through 23. And you also get the uh, Overcharge. You get the Victory, and you get the Maximum Judenchis. So... Very cool, you know, and it looks like they're sitting in their, uh, in that little charging station that they have at the Spirit Base. And again, a nice picture here of QU Red. And, um, yeah. Very cool, very cool packaging. That's just a nice... That, that, that alone right there makes for a nice display. Like, you can have your, uh, you know, you can have this as a backdrop for your, for your toys. I think that looks really, really cool. But... We'll get down to it, and we'll look at these Judenchis. I'm not going to throw this box yet, because it still has all the stuff in it. I just wanted to show off how they all just kind of sit in there. But I'm going to get this open, get out these Judenchis, and we'll show off what they do, okay? Wait! All right, I got them out. I got two trays full of Judenchis here, and we're going to take a look at them. Now, one thing that's cool about them is they are a bit different from the Judenchis that you get with the, uh, with the normal releases. With their toys, so I'll pull out Gabutira's here. Just so you can see the difference here. Here's Gabu here's the one that comes with uh, Gabutira's toy, and you can see th the main difference is just it has shiny paint. Basically, this is a nice shiny red paint, as opposed to the just the flat red paint here. So it looks good though. It makes it look a, a lot nicer. Just that nice shiny red paint going on there. Other than that, it's the exact same thing, exact same mold. Works the exact same way. You know, they still brave in the same way, you know. But the real difference is just you get some nice shiny paint on these uh, on these DX versions. So that's the only main difference. Other than that, they're the exact same Judenchis that we know and love. And you get 23. Actually, you get 26 of them. So we'll get down and... Uh, show you the noises these guys make. Now, I'm not going to do the first 10 because I, I've i already reviewed the first five Voltasaurus, so you've already heard all those noises. The other ones I have on the way, so I'd rather review those Judenshis and show off the noises that they uh, that they do when I actually review their toys. So we're going to start with number 11 and work our way from there. So What we're going to do is we're going to bring out Kyoryujin. And he's going to make some noises for us. Let's get on with it. Is he even on? He's not even on. Let me turn him on. There we go. So let's start popping in some Judentius. Here we have number 11, Dino Chaser. 
right here. Ready? Brave in! There we go. And yes, I'm going to say brave in for each and every one, and you're going to have to sit there and listen to it. So here we go. Pop it in. Okay, you're going to have to listen to that combination noise the first time. So here we go. Now we're going to listen to his attack noise. This thing is loud, man. Seriously. <laughs> Potassium Dino Chesa right there. Next up, we have number 12, Dinos Granda, right here. Brave in! There we go. There you have that. Now we have number 13. Kentro Spiker. Brave in. Pop it in. There you have that. Next up, we have Stymero, right there. Brave in! Let's go. <laughs> That's a funny one. <laughs> There you have that, Stamero, number 15, we have Alomeris, there you have that, Brave In, there we go. Boom, explode. So you have that with Alamaris. Next up we have number 16, Be Beyonsmo. I have trouble saying that one. So you have that. Brave in! this stuff. I really do. So there you have Biosimo. Next up we have number 17 and my personal favorites. Overapu. There you have him. Brave in. This one's my favorite. <laughs> he actually has a fart attack. I love that. He has a fart attack. Where else can you see that? And they actually used it on the show. That was hilarious. That, oh my god, he has a fart attack. That's, that's my favorite. That's my favorite of all time ever. Obidapu. <laughs> this, this, alone, this alone is worth the price of admission right here. That's it. This is all you need right here. Anyway, on to number 18, we have Igeron, Igeronodon. Ready? Brave in! That sounded kind of dirty. I don't know about you, but... <laughs> <laughs> so have yeah, you got on it on? Next we have number 19, Tuperanda. 
So yeah, that one. Brave in. He really rolls that R. He's like, Tuperanda! I like that. <laughs> and next we have number 20, Gurumonites. Gurumonites. Guru, I don't know if I'm saying it right. Whatever. <laughs> Here we go. Brave in! Oh yeah! Again, that's the home stretch that we have Grunomites. Number 21! I can get it out of the tray! We have Arca Arcanolon. Arcanolon. Whatever. It's a dinosaur, it's a turtle! <laughs> Brave in! Turtle in! <laughs> oh, I love this. Love it so much. <laughs> Number 22. We have uh, Pukoptor. We have him. Um, Brave in! Sounds like a combination of, like, a bouncing ball and diarrhea. It's just what I hear, I'm just saying. So, there you have number 22, Bukuptor. And number 23, Futabain. There he is, Brave in! <laughs> ah, it's so silly, it's awesome. So there you have that for the for the 13 uh, the spirit judenchies. The spirit guardian, the guardian judenchies. That's uh, what they're called, the guardian judenchies. So now we have all the guardian judenchies. I have so much trouble saying these words. Now that we're done with the Guardian Judenchis. Now we'll get on to these extra ones that are thrown in. Now this is now the next three Judenchis are ma they're made for they're not really made for this toy. Um, you can use them and they do still make a noise, but they don't really do the whole thing they're supposed to do. Uh, these Judenchis are actually made for um, Mini Tira. Um, if you haven't seen that episode, I'll uh, basically. Um, Kuyu Red gets this Judenchi, and you can see it is, it's a Gabutiro Judenchi, but it's a 1 plus. And basically, basically this is the overcharge Judenchi. And he throws this into Gabutira's mouth, and Gabutira actually shrinks down into a little baby sized version of himself that can transform into a gun, and he can use it to, uh, to, uh, Kuyu change into, uh, Kuyu Red Carnival! And uh, basically, that's what these Jujenchis are for. These Jujenchis, this one, the Victory Battery, and the Maximum Battery, they're made for that gun. They'll still make noises in uh, Kiryujin, but they're really made for that gun. So, I don't have that gun, and I probably am not going to get it. But it's still cool that I have all the Jujenchis that are in the show. So, I, I still do appreciate that. So, here is Kabutira's Plus One, or One Plus Jujenchi. Right here, and again, you know, it says Gabutira, then the silver paint. And in this case, you see you have the full-grown Gabutira here, but when you brave in, you flip it, and you have a little, little baby Gabutira. Look at our me, so cute. Aww. So we'll plug him in.
you still get the overture! You know, you still get that effect, but... It, I believe it does do more when you actually have it in the actual gun it's supposed to go into. And then, of course, you do have the... The Victory Battery. Right here. Very nice, uh, clear, transparent plastic. Very nicely done. Done in gold here. So we'll breathe in this one. Pop it in. He just laughs at you. I assume when you actually have them in the in the Gabutira gun that it makes way more noises than that. And then here you have the gold maximum battery. Right here. Done in gold transparent plastic. Brave in! Have that. Pop it in. And he basically makes the same noise as the uh, the victory battery. So, yeah, these these three batteries are meant for they're they're meant for Mini Tira. They're not meant for Kiryujin. So, uh, will I ever get to see what these really can do? Probably not, because like I said, I I probably won't get that gun. So, it's okay though. It's it's still cool that I have them. That's that's all that really matters. So we'll get Kiryujin out of the way here. And we'll bring the trays back in here, just so we can have some final thoughts. But yeah, really cool. Um, it, it's really nice to have a full set of Judenchis now, um, because hunting for them individually was just really a pain in the butt, so it's nice that they just released a set of all of them. I know I'm missing the Tobaspino one, somebody... <laughs> I, I posted a picture of these on, on uh, Twitter, and the first reply I got back was, Oh, you're missing the double zero. I know, I... I, I have a, a Tobospino on pre-order, so I will have the double zero Judenchi, so don't worry about that. I will have them all officially all. But um yeah. Still a very nice set to have. It's nice that you get, you know, the uh the extra ones, the the, the overcharge, the, the victory and the maximum batteries. It's cool to have them. And uh yeah, and, and I really do like them. They're they're very nicely done. I, I love the nice metallic paint on them. It just they it makes them look really nice. The packaging just everything. The whole package just really makes for a very nice addition to your collection if you're going in on Kiryuja. It's very cool. So, if you can find this for a good price, definitely pick it up. I think it's worth having. So, I think that's it for these noise-making batteries. So, don't forget to check out M Games. Check out Lori Plan. Follow me on Twitter. All of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Kyoto Uger DX Judenshi set. And this is Emgo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud. Palm in your face. Okay, okay, so I'm not doing a review, so why do you want me here? Ha 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 ha. Ah, worth every cent.